So uh, look, how he's to got get an orchid it right. tattoo. Can I just say something? <laughs> look, an orchid tattoo there. You are so at one. <laughs> you really are. No, love that. This guy is... So, all yeah, you need to do is... What do I do? What do I do? No, no, no. OK, you won't. You've got to use natural water, so pure water, bottled water. You don't want any tap water. Already very high maintenance. Just a shot glass or ice cubes worth of water per week, just once a week. Do not overwater your orchids. Right. OK. Banana puree. One inch of banana skin, puree that with two cups of water, and then you've got your tonic for your plants. You give that to them three times a, a year, like it's going to help them. Three times a year? Yeah. OK. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, that so is you don't need natural... to go wandering around with rotten this bananas. This is your holy trinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tea bags. Empty those around the orchids once a month to give them nitrogen in order to help the plants look glossier and healthier. Eggshells. Crush an eggshell once a month around your plants. Ouch. To give them calcium for a stronger root system, stronger, more kind of buxom plants. OK. Really healthy plants. And then milk. You can use that to actually give but the leaves oh, the a bit leaves. of a shine. So oh, you're going to nice. rub it across the leaves in order to get rid of hard water deposits that may be around the home. Yeah. So that's really easy. Do you remember, oh, our, do you remember, uh, right. oh, sorry. Do you remember Art Attack? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. Michael, you're on Neil Buchanan here. <laughs> oh, definitely. With all of this. So but the you last said one to show this you. This is important. The see-through thing. Yeah. So, so the see-through container. Should we not container? put them in uh, a pot like you that? You can. Or... I mean, they're still going to survive because they've often got aerial roots popping out of the top, so it won't do any harm. But if you ever wonder why they're see-through, that's the real reason. Okay. And then taking off the dead flowers. Now these flowers are clearly not dead, but I'm going to show you just to demonstrate. <gasps> is that not a cardinal sin in well... gardeners' lives? We're going to do it for perfect okay. demo. Thank We're you. We're going to take them off there. Thank you for the sacrifice. So you're always going to take your dead flowers off along the stem. You're not going to cut the whole stem off because right. if you look here, you've got small extra buds that will come and oh, develop. So if you cut bud. the whole stem off, you're going to ruin your plant. And that's where a lot of people go wrong with their orchids. I've done that. Take off yeah. the individual florets along the stem rather than the whole stem. Okay. And they are hopefully your tips to success. That is so. <laughs> so you can. Would you suggest doing all of these things? I mean, they are they're spread around. Different times a year. So banana water, you're going to do two or three times a year. Tea bags once a month. Eggshells every couple of months. Well, I think it's worth remembering. It's like you said. You know, you buy a bunch of flowers for twenty quid, mm. and they're gone in a week. These but you last buy one three of those, times as long. You know, three years. months, four months, yeah. and they just keep coming back. Yeah. Exactly. It's just. You've got to look you just got to maintain. Them, uh, look, everything is in your store cupboard at home. You don't need any special fertilizers or chemicals. Yeah. It's all here, really. Mm. Well, that is, Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Thank Michael. you. Good to Thank see you, you buddy. Very really good. <laughs>